You have probably watched millions of hacking tutorials, learned the tools, but the moment something breaks, you freeze. Why? Because you have never learned how internet actually works. This is the number one skill set that most ethical hackers think they know, but they skip it way too often. It's not Python, not Kali, and it's not even some flashy hacking tools. It's networking, and if you don't master it right now, you will never be more than a tool running script kiddy. Welcome to Kevdang. We break things down to level you up. Before we even go on into the video, let me narrate you one story. One day, a quiet student sits at a cafe in Amsterdam, opens his laptop, connects to free Wi-Fi, within minutes, boom, he's intercepting every email, messages and connection in the building. He didn't break into anyone's device, he posed as the router. That's called ARP spoofing, tricking devices into thinking he's the network gateway. Nobody noticed, nobody knew. That's how subtle networking attacks can be done. Now if you're a little bit confused, let me break it down to you more easily and more friendly. Think of the internet like a city. Your device equals your house, websites equals your buildings, your IP address is your street number, DNS is your address book. In other names or in other way, I can tell you that the DNS, it tells your browser where to go. And your router, that's the mailman delivering your data. But here's the kicker, the whole system is based on trust. So if someone figures out how to manipulate the postman or poison the address book, they can reroute all of your letters and your daughter and they can send them wherever they want to send them. Now let me narrate you another version of the story. In a luxury hotel in Singapore, a guest walks in with a charger looking gadget, plugs it into a hallway socket, it's a Wi-Fi pineapple, a device that impersonates trusted Wi-Fi networks. Now every guest phone, laptop and tablet are auto connecting to him, emails logged, VPN traffic captured, he didn't hack anyone, he rerouted the flow of traffic silently. That's the power of networking knowledge. Now let us start smoothly by seeing what really happens behind the scenes when you're online. For example, you type in youtube.com and press enter. It is easy, right? Here's what actually happens under the hood. Your computer checks its DNS cache. If it doesn't know the address, it asks the DNS server, where's YouTube? The DNS server replies with an IP address. Then the TCP handshake starts. When the TCP handshakes, I speak about the scene, scene arc, and the arc. Browser sends the HTTP GET request. Server responds with HTML, images, codes, and everything in packets. Now, just imagine when a hacker intercepts or poison that handshake. Suddenly, you are visiting their fake site, not the real one. Welcome to the world of man in the middle attacks. If I have at least started opening up your eyes, stop right now. Hit the like, subscribe, and share this with your hacker crew. This is Kevdine where you actually learn, not just copy and paste things. You wanna know what hackers love more than a zero-day exploit? It is misconfigured networks, or you can call it human error. Here's the checklist. Routers using default admin admin logins. Number two, open ports with exposed services like SSH or RDP. Number three, IoT devices like smart TVs just chilling on the network. And the last one, flood networks, where everyone from interns to CEOs shares access. One mistake and attackers are inside pivoting from system to system. Why? Because the network wasn't designed with segmentation. Network segmentation means breaking your network into zones, like having locked doors between each section of a building. So, even if an attacker breaks in through the lobby, say a printer, they can't just waltz into HR files or the finance servers. Here is how real companies defend themselves. Firewalls. This one blocks unauthorized traffic. The second way, access control list, ACLs, decides who can talk to what. The third way, IDS and IPS, intrusion detection and prevention systems, like security cameras for your data. IDS watches for unusual behaviors, and IPS acts on it and blocks all threats. And the other way is zero trust. Every device, every user is treated as a potential threat, no exceptions, but guess what, red teamers or the real attackers knows how to find cracks into all these ways. Here's an example of a red team move. They will hack a printer, use it to hop into a database, then escalate privileges to admin. Why? Because the network wasn't segmented or monitored properly. If you understand the blueprint, you control the board. Here are some common attack methods that the pros use. Number one, DNS spoofing. This redirects you to fake sites. Number two, ARP spoofing, hijacks traffic invisibly. And the third one, it is mark spoofing. This one fakes a device identity to gain access. None of these rely on cracking passwords. They exploit network blind spots. Most beginners 
they run nmap scans they don't even understand they follow youtube tutorials without knowing why something works and when it breaks they panic real hackers observe they understand and they adapt now if you want to become a real pro here is where to start set up your virtual box or your vmware run two machines one the attacker and another one the victim use wireshark to monitor traffic use nmap to scan try spoofing a mac address capture dns traffic you are not just watching anymore you are building instincts yo if your brain's firing right now and you are thinking damn i need more of this you are in the right place smash the subscribe button slap the bell icon and don't just sit there hit the cave Dine channel page you will find videos like how to stay anonymous online like a ghost clone any website down to the pixel even how pros craft phishing emails that actually works for educational purposes of course this is not surface level hacking this is real knowledge real tactics step by step so turn those post notifications on because when i drop you will wanna be the first in catch you in the next one peace out